What's good, Pokefam? And I'm sorry for my voice ahead of time. I've caught some type of sickness. Who cares? Uh, but we got the Articuno Marvel Select Pokemon, or as the French call, Les Incapitons. If you get it, you get it. It's the Articudin. Articudin in France, apparently. This is Series 1. I've got the Charizard. And I got I got reviews of all these coming up. Um, I started with like Series 3, but I'm, I'm going to catch up and get uh, all my reviews out of the older ones because I have them all. They're all there. I got them out, so stay tuned. But today, we're going to go with the Articulated Articuno from the Marvel Select. So if you've watched any of my past reviews, you know I've been totally nerding out over these Pokemon Select figures by Jazzwares, and this is no different. I, I wondered if I went back to Series 1, if they would lose quality, but this is not. Uh, if you watched my Dragon Pult review, I totally nerded out over these tails. This is, like, this is awesome. Look, look at this, how well it holds its form. This, this, this right here is hard to get out, but that's fine. But for the most part, you can straighten them out and you can move them. And they will stay very, very well. Uh, we'll start from the bottom up, I guess. So, the toes. Each one of these are going to be articulated individually. Including the, the talon there on the rear. Then we'll get a, a swivel here. We'll get a hinge here. With lots of articulation. We'll see. No swivel right there at the base. But we will get a bit of a swivel right here. And of course, on both legs, it's, it's the same. And I don't know if you can tell, um, but when I, these are very stiff joints, which is great. And then even here at the wing, this ball joint right here, that's a very stiff joint. These are stiff joints. They hold very well. And I love that much. I mean, you're getting a great value for $20. These, these are $20 at Target is where I'm finding them. This is Series 1, so... You probably won't find that target anymore, but if you can find these figures, they're great. They're great. Then this head swivel right here. The beak doesn't move at all. And then not only that, looking around, um, I'm not seeing any defects on the paint. Uh, these are these are really just amazing, amazing figures. I'm very surprised at these. And um, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty hardcore collector. I've got all of the Bandai, um, SH figure arts, whatever you want to call them. Like uh, Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard, and Mewtwo figures. And those are good figures, but f for those are like $100 when they first released. So somewhere around there. And now I know they skyrocketed in price. Look, if they come, I know they've come out with the Charizard and I'll review that soon. But if they come out with those, do not be disappointed at all. Because you will get a great value for your buck if you buy these for $20. And you're not missing out on anything. Trust me. That base was very easy to put in. Now these bases are even better than what you're gonna get with those those really expensive Bandai SH Figure Arts figures. I mean these you hear that ratchet? Oh, see it comes out a little bit, but that's fine because it goes right back in. But you, and, and let's see if I can get it close. If you can hear that ratchet, I mean these these stand really well. Look, I just won't watch it. Oh, I hit the camera. But watch this. I mean, I'm hitting this pretty hard, and that that base and those joints are not moving at all. These these like, as an adult collector, these bases are really rare. Because I've had a uh, rare because I've had a like a a problem when I mean, you stand your figures and they come with nice stands, but the stands were just weak. And then they want you to do these dynamic poses, but you can't do them because the 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 stands are so weak. But these these don't have these issues at all. So if you want to be really picky. There is no real scale to these Pokemon Select figures or the rest of the Jazzwares figures that I have found or they have specifically labeled. This is the Flygon battle figure and the Decidueye battle figure compared to the Pokemon Select. And look, they, they, they may be somewhat to scale but as far as like officially you know like a 1 in 20 scale or 1 6 scale there is no official scale so if I want to be very very picky that would be I guess a nitpick but I honestly personally there's no other Articuno figure out there and there's no other flag on there's no other Stigiwai figure unless you go in Pokemon scale world which I don't know if they've made you might have to go third party to find those that would be the only complaint they have, do not hesitate if you find these figures and you're a Pokemon collector, Pokemon fan, 
do not hesitate to buy these because these are the best value for your buck that you can buy on the market right now. I honestly recommend them over the Bandai SH Figure Arts. They're great. There's a slot to select from. They got more coming out. They got the Legendary Beast coming out, which I'm, I'm definitely going to review. But until then, thanks for watching so much. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I got more coming out, so stay tuned. Be safe, and peace out.